everyone. So today we're going to be talking about how to use participle adjectives in the passive voice. Um, have any of you guys ever been on a date? Yeah. How did you guys start dating? Oh, it's not romantic. Um, have any of you guys ever tried to get a date and to do so you had a wingman or a woman? A wingman is someone that helps someone else to get a date, help them to start dating. Um, they're kind of like Cupid, which is probably where the word comes from. Today, our goal is to use the passive voice to help us or a friend of ours to get a date. So first thing we're going to do is go over, we're going to fill, the first thing we're going to do is that we're going to fill up two columns. One using the past participle and the other using the present participle. Do you guys remember what these two words means? The past participle are the words that end with ed and the present participle are the verbs that end in ing. Can you guys think of some verbs that we can put up here? Yeah. Hmm. What would be the past participle version of that verb? Yeah, these are all great words. So this is Bob. Here are some things about Bob. We want to think about what Bob is feeling about the, these different things. For example, Bob is frightened by spiders. Oh, spiders, oh. He's frightened by them. And frightened is a past participle. Frightened. Um, and we want to write, we're going to talk to our neighbor, and we're going to think about what the different images represent, about what Bob feels about them. Um, this way we can get some things, uh, different vocabulary words, and we're going to fill up more examples for our columns. So let's go talk to our neighbors. Okay, let's go write these things up on the board. What are some words? Can I have a volunteer to um, get some stuff written up on the board? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's perfect. Thanks, everybody. Sometimes you need to describe your own and other people's feelings that they have for things. Things like art or science. Really anything. And today you're going to learn how to use participal adjectives like the EDs and the INGs with, um, in the passive voice. So, some of the examples that you guys came up during our um, last writing of stuff on the columns was um, Bob is interested in art. Um, interested. ED. That's a past participle. Or Bob is annoyed by crying. That's another annoyed with the past participle. These are all, those are all sentences that are describing how Bob feels. These are Bob's feelings that are being caused by an action. The important thing is Bob is feeling these things. However, you've noticed that we have the present participle up here. What do you think these are used for? Well, the present, particip the present participle is used to describe what causes the feeling, the cause. Art is interesting. History is boring. It's the item that is important, not the person. So, describing the cause of a feeling, you use the present participle, and describing how someone feels about something, you use the past participle. So, let's pr practice using the correct form of the participle adjectives in some passive sentences. Let's go to our neighbor and decide where, which we use ed and which that we use ing in all of the, um, in the 
in the reading. Can I get a volunteer to read this with me? Yeah. How are you, Bob? I'm so bored. Oh, why? I have to read this book for my class, and this book is boring. What? Romeo and Juliet is interesting. How dare you? You are interested in theater. That's why you think it's interesting. Yeah. So, as you've noticed, is that when we say Bob is interested in art, we use the past participle, ed, interested. Um, even though we're using the past participle, this sentence is still in the present tense. We're talking about something that's happening right now. This is because it's marked with the present form of be, is. Bob is interested in art. And that is the most important for marking the tense for using the participal adjectives in the passive voice. But what, how do you think the sentence would change if we were to change the present passive sentence into a past passive sentence? Um, can I have a volunteer who has an idea? Yeah, is changes into was to show that it's now in the past tense. And the meaning has changed. No longer, Bob, Bob no longer finds math interesting. Math is not interesting, is what Bob thinks. It was interesting in the past, but now it's not. So, I am going to hand out these questionnaires to you all. Please fill them out using the passive voice. And these questionnaires will be read by our classmates. So, I'm just warning you in advance. For example, one of the questions is, I am blank clowns. I am amused by clowns. I am. Um, for answering the questionnaire, for filling in the blanks of the sentence, describe your own feelings about these items using either the past participle or the present participle adjectives. Um, you can use the adjectives that are written on the two columns, or you can think them up on your own. Both are fine. Okay, can you um, hand them back for me? Thanks. Okay, so now we're going to do a new activity. It's, I call this activity Bob and the Wingman. For this activity, you can make stuff up, or you can read stuff based off of the um, questionnaires we got, or these other pieces of paper, which are describing Bob. You can read stuff off of this, or make it up. Can I have a volunteer? Yeah. Okay. So one of us will be acting as Bob and the other will be acting as the wingman. I think I was too far in that picture. Um, so, um, can you do me a favor and pretend to be Bob? Yeah, I will be being the wingman to help this classmate end up with Bob. I'm going to be the matchmaker between the two. Okay. You're going to be talking for 10 minutes, and after 10 minutes, you're going to switch who is talking. For example, hey Bob, um, are you interested about history? I am not interested about history. Science is more interesting to me. You're just going to talk just like that for the next 10 minutes. Um, and you're going to try thinking about whether or not the student you're assigned and Bob make a good couple. Um, so I'm going to hand out. Everybody is going to get a random questionnaire sheet, and every group will get one Bob sheet. Okay. These are the questionnaire sheets. If Make sure you do not get your own sheet, okay? And I will be handing out the box sheets. Okay, switch! We're in.
any of you guys a perfect match for Bob? <laughs> no. Guess that happens, doesn't it? Um, so now we're going to do the next activity. This time, you're going to act as your own wingman. You are going to try to get a date with your partner. You two are both trying to hook up together for this activity. Um, you're going to think of things on top of your head and try using the passive voice to convince your partner to start dating you. Um, yeah, it's pretty similar to our last activity, but you're not given any sheet to look off of. You're all great wingmans. Remember to use the past participle to show how someone feels and the present participle to describe something when speaking in the passive voice. Today your homework is to write at least 10 sentences about yourself as if you're on an online matchmaking app in the passive voice. Five of these sentences will be using the present participle and the other five will be using the past participle adjectives for this. Have a nice weekend!